How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor. Trainer Connor, yes, that's right. We're here for a Wi Fi battle video today. And this Wi Fi battle video is on the International Challenge of April Masters Division, battle number one. So, the Pokemon I brought are a little bit different. I actually brought this shiny Terrakion with a Lumberry. And I accidentally brought a level 36 Togekiss named Alexis. And a Weakness Policy Eater Slash Shuckle, who's going to set up Sticky Web and go with those knockoff attacks. And I have a Mega Alexam, Diggersby, all those Pokemon. And I'm just trying to see who can do what in doubles because this is a double battle format as it says vgc style and uh, here's our first battle against jessica i usually probably begin with her mega electric and i could have switched out expecting the intimidate there but at the same time it's like well i i i just want to stay in here and hit things really hard with an earthquake or a rock slide since I'm in here. But what's gonna happen is, I actually kinda overestimate the intimidate a little bit. So, now for some reason, she goes for a powder snow instead of blizzard. That's what I was actually expecting, a blizzard. But she goes for that powder snow. And I see Manetra going for a thunder, expecting that to be the case again. I go into Diggersby who has a normal gem. I was thinking of putting it scarfed, but at the same time, it's like being locked in in one move might not be the best idea there. Now, after the effects of the Incidimate, my attack is like very low, and that means that I, I don't come out really well on the damage rolls. That's just not good, not good at all. She, she keeps going for a Thunder. I'm not sure why. We're going to go for close combat to finish off the next trick. I don't know if that's a misplay or whatever. He should attack my crack in there. Because you're a mega, you're not stick to one move. Unless you're a scarfed a, a scarfed magic, excuse me. But should I go for the normal gem return? And I just don't KO it. And it's like, well, that's very annoying. Here I get the information that he has a free try attack which is also not going to KO me, but it is stronger, I have to say that. So, that's the case there, and then he goes for Blaziken next. And for Blaziken, I need to have an Earthquake go off without damaging my Terrakin. So I go into Alexis, who's at level 36, I imagine that, a level 36 Togekiss entering the level 50 battle. And we just KO those two Pokemon there. And that worked out pretty well. Of course, the hail is not going to bother my Pokemon much. But at the same time, we have chip damage. And that is always a issue when it comes to battling. Having chip damage means that you have a little bit of extra damage onto something. But that's not going to bother Alexis. I had that citrus berry that you saw earlier, but I can't live an ice beam from a loss. So here I go for U turn. And this is where things get a little bit crazy because I go for U turn. Yeah, and then I go into King's Sin, which is my E slash. And then I go back into Diggersby afterwards. There you go. That's a great combination. King is. Kingston is actually, yeah, like I said, it's a weakness policy set, but it's actually a little bit different from my other weakness policy. I have two different weakness policy. You can slash. This one in particular has special moves on it. So in the end, I'm able to go for an earthquake there. Or actually, quick attack, excuse me, because earthquake wouldn't work, right? And that's the first battle from the International Challenge of April. Battle number two is coming up here next time. I hope you're having a good day and everything and i hope you all enjoyed this wi-fi battle if you did hit that like button and subscribe i'll see you later
拜了。